Hi everyone. Hey, this is Dolores Rubieta and I am your Math 182 instructor this semester. So what I'd like to do is give you a little tour of Canvas and how the course is set up. You've started off really well because you're already doing the first step right here. Mrs. Rubieta, how do I navigate this course? So what I'd like to do is just kind of walk you through these. You're going to go through all of these steps, first of all, in the intro activities. So you're getting through that first video. Let's go to the second one, step two. This is just how to use email in Canvas. You may or may not be familiar with that, but you're just basically going to use this little tab on the left, that inbox, and gives you an overview of that. The third video is how do I register for my math lab? Now, I didn't create this video, but I found a pretty good one online. And you're going to need my math lab to complete the online homework this semester, which is a crucial part of succeeding in this class. And so after you do that, you want to go ahead and get this handout. And in order to complete these steps, the registration, you can go ahead and start with temporary access. Eventually, in about a week, you're going to need to purchase an access code from My Math Lab. You can do that either online or you can get it in the bookstore. And uh, we will talk about this a little bit more in class about the different options that you have. Then after you get registered, you should be able to do the homework here. These are just orientation questions, not really math content, just about four or five questions, I think. And um, then you can um, get through these steps. And then the very last part, the last step, after you finish these first five, then you can get to the week one material. Now, this is where I wanted to walk you through just a little bit on what this looks like. So every week you'll have some homework and we will also be covering a topic in class. So after you finish the orientation activities, you're going to go to week one and you'll notice here that we have different due dates. You'll see the online homework, which is required right here. You'll see a due date of August 23rd right there. And then you need to submit that one. And then uh, you'll notice right below that, this is the topic we'll be covering in the first week of class, section 5.1 on angles and radian measure. Now that's the topic. And then below that, I have optional support materials for you. Uh, you'll see a PowerPoint here. And then I have several videos there. Uh, they, these are all optional. The PowerPoint and the videos are optional. I will be covering this material in class. However, when I teach trigonometry, I usually have about half the class that has never seen trigonometry before, ever. And then I have the other half of the class that have completed trigonometry at some point in their lives, and they're just reviewing a little bit. So that's a pretty big stretch of um, experience in the class. So in order to get everybody up to speed together, I like to provide these support materials. Again, you need to be responsible for these on your own. And if you figure, you know what, I need a little bit more, then definitely go into these materials that I have as support for you. You'll see that every single week for every section. So now if we look at week two, you'll see that you have online homework due on the 26th. And then there are support materials, optional support materials, PowerPoint and videos for you. Now let's look over to the right. And if you look how Canvas has this set up, you'll see that there's a list, uh, a to-do list of things coming up. And some students like this and some students don't. It all depends on, on, on your thinking and your organization. But Canvas has a course calendar here in the upper right. So if you take a look at course calendar, and I'm going to click on that for you. And you can see the entire month of August. And let's go down for a minute. You're going to start class here on the, on the 19th. But on the 21st, you have your first assignment. And I like this calendar view for students. And they usually like it better because it gives you the due time as well. So all of the just kind of, I'm just hovering on the title here. Your assignments are all due before class at 10 o'clock. So right when class begins, you should already have that day's homework completed. So um, you should have these orientation questions done by Wednesday before you come into class. And if we click on that, you can actually click on that link right here and it sends you right to the homework. Just click on it. Uh, this is going to look a, a little funny because 
uh, it's not written, you know, I'm not registered for, um, it's, this shows the student view. So you're going to get locked out if you are not registered for my math lab yet. But the calendar view is really helpful. And you can do that for every month. So if you view course calendar, and if we look ahead at the next month, you will notice there's an assignment due on the 23rd and the 26th as well as the next month. So you can scroll ahead to any month on the, I'm in the top right of your screen here. If we look at September, you can see what's going on. Uh, whoops, I think I can go forward. Let's try that again. I'm gonna go on the left here uh, and I'll forward one more month. And you'll see in September, you have a quiz on Wednesday the 4th. You have homework due on the 4th as well. And then you can see all of these kind of coming up and your first exam is on September 25th. So this calendar view is really, really helpful. All right, so let's go back and I'm gonna be on the left here. You can kind of um, look on the left part of your screen and you'll see I'm just gonna press the back arrow right here to get back to the home screen. And this is really gonna be your central part right here. Um, you'll be able to check on grades at any time on the left right here with the grades and your syllabus will always be right here if you need a copy. And um, I think that gives you a pretty good overview of what this course is gonna look like. You have the first couple of weeks available right now. On your calendar, you should go ahead and put your final exam. You'll notice I have it at the bottom here for December 9th and block that date out because that will take a couple of hours um, of your time and it'll be longer than the regular class period, but you have some major things on the calendar right now. And of course, we will talk about all of this and more when you come to class and um, I'm looking forward to the semester. I really enjoy teaching trigonometry. I enjoy teaching in general. I just really love my job. And so I'm looking forward to getting to know each of you a little bit better. All right, take care.